Good morning, it's Tess, and today's tip is, are you looking at the forest or are you stuck on a tree? And that came to me for a reason. Um, one of my former managers used to always say that a lot. She would say, um, I tend to I tend to be very detail-oriented, so when I'm doing work, I get really focused in on the, the details. And she would always tell me, you gotta pull back and look at the forest. But in her case, her education caused her to look at the forest, and she didn't, um, have the same type of skills to get dig, to dig into the tree. Well, it kind of made me think about my weight loss journey because many know that I weigh myself every day, or for the most part, every once in a while I'll slide off of it for a while. But I did something that's kind of reminding me that weighing in every day unemotionally is a good tool for me. And the reason is, is that I kind of put a little chart together and what I wanted to do is I wanted to look at the forest, so to speak. And by that, what I mean is that um, our weight will fluctuate every single day, and I know my weight fluctuates. It can fluctuate based on what kind of stress I'm under, what kind of, uh, did I drink my water, did I get my green smoothies in, did I follow what I know is a tried and true plan for myself, or is my body just readjusting? That can happen too. So I kind of went through, like, um, this has been going on with Doc V for a couple of years, so I do have some kind of, you know, things that I can look at, and I was looking at, like, 2020 and I ended the year down like 30 pounds and 2021 and I was kind of evaluating by month since I had an old calendar I was getting ready to throw away and I was just looking at what was my high weight for each month and what was my low weight for each month and just kind of looking at as long as each month starts there's going to be a high day and a low day but it, as if I see it continuing to go down slowly and I continue in that process that's what I need to focus on and I think many of us need to focus on as we've got to get out of the tree focus and look at the forest. Are we working towards that long-term goal? And everything everything that I've learned with Dr. V and Chris Noggle and all the mentoring groups that I have, a lot of it is our thought patterns and where are we focused? Are we focused big picture or are we focused on the details? We have to take the detail steps. We have to decide we're gonna drink more water. We have to decide we're gonna take more steps. We have to decide we're gonna to work towards the journey. But are we looking at our success as a big picture or looking at the forest? And I think that's where I mess up sometimes is I get too stuck on looking at the tree, what happened yesterday to today, instead of pulling back and saying, what happened last month to this month? What happened last year to this year? Um, we all struggle, we all have good days and we have bad days, but if we start looking at the big picture, it'll make the long-term success a lot easier. And I, and I guess I, I wanna say thank you to Kim, which is my manager from some years ago. And it was something that we always talked about is that I am very detail-oriented. I am the tree. I, I get focused on the tree and sometimes it's hard for me to pull back and see the big picture. Her background was she always saw the big picture but she couldn't drill in. So in her case, finding those small steps to change were important. In my case, I could make the small steps, but I had to pull out and see my success big picture. So think about who are you? Are you somebody, do you have the right balance between looking at the tree to make the steps to move forward and recognizing your successes by pulling out and looking at the forest? Um, it was really meaningful to me. Uh, she always talked about how we worked well together because my skill set was the opposite of hers. So our training brought us together in a way that we could accomplish more than a lot of teams could accomplish. And our weight loss journey has to be like that too. If you're a person that's focused on the detail of what's changing every single day, maybe you need a coach or a mentor or somebody that will pull you out to see the big picture of what you have accomplished so that you realize that your little steps are taking you forward. And it was kind of a good thing for me to do because I just took the calendar from the past year and I just put what was my highest weight every month and what was my lowest weight every month. And I just plot, I just plotted it through the year just to see that even though some months were better than other months, there was still progress forward because this is a journey I have to be engaged in my entire life. I know that this is the second time I've lost over 100 pounds, but this time I'm five and a half plus years out and I'm still working the journey and I've got to continue to, all well, hi, Mary, good to see you. We'll all be together very soon. Um, and I just wanted to kind of point out that think about yourself and don't get hung up on the tree Make those steps you need to make, but don't look at your success and failure totally on the tree. Pull out and also use the forest, that big picture. What have you accomplished in a, a week, a month, a quarter, a year, so that you can 
combine the two and balance them to help you move forward. You know, it's a uh, it's like like Chris, Chris Noggle, because Mary's I, Chris Noggle will always tell you about how wealth isn't built in a day. Weight loss isn't built in a day or a week either. It's, it's a marathon. And I think the sooner that we recognize we need to be the tree in making the steps, but when we, we are acknowledging our success in it, we got to pull back and look at the forest, the big picture, so that we can find the things to feel good about so that we can continue to make the small steps to move forward. I hope you guys find this helpful. I'll get back into the workday, but I just wanted to share that because I thought it was so meaningful and it hit me as part of my weight loss journey because my boss used to always say that. When we'd go into meetings, she'd say, you're the tree and I'm the forest. Now let's come together and see how we can put this picture together in a new way or in a better way. And I think that's the same with our weight loss journey. Our single little steps that we're making every day is the tree, but make sure to always pull back and look at the forest. Look at your successes, reward yourself and recognize them so that it gives you the motivation, the drive, the ambition and the courage to, to make it better tomorrow. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Oh, it does want to go 